Hola, this is the compatibility reading for compatibility reading between, I mean, <laughs> compatibility between a Taurus and a Leo, okay? So you have a love interest that is a Leo. This, um, this coupling or this relationship or what have you, if you have an, okay. <laughs> if you have a love interest that is a Leo, it is co uh, considered an unfavorable match, okay? So it's kind of at the bottom of the rank, but all relationships are work, so don't worry too much about that. And the reason why is that Leos, um, for you, you might see them as a little too bossy or a little too I idealistic, and, and that doesn't work with you, um, you know, being a Taurus and um, being a very strong person and being very grounded, okay? So that's just some of the complications that might be in the relationship. Alrighty? So like I said, this is a compatibility reading. There is no timeline on these. Um, you can check them whenever. You can check the reverse. When you view it is when you're meant to see it. I'm doing in the order of most requested videos by sign, okay? Um, check playlists for other signs or subscribe to get notifications. Um, I think that's it. Okay, the first portion of this I'm doing main cards. The second will be bonus clarifiers in Vimeo. We'll go more in depth in regards to the relationship. Just click on the click on the link below to purchase. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guys, universe. Can you please provide your truth, your clarity, your insight in regard to a relationship between the relationship between a Taurus and an Aries? Can you please show us what Taurus's position, stance, or contribution be to this relationship? What would the Aries position, stance, or contribution be to this relationship? What would be the basis of the foundation? What would lie between the Taurus and Aries? I mean, sorry, Taurus and Leo, be it for better or worse. Don't worry that I said Aries. It won't affect the reading. I'm actually concentrating on Leo. And then finally, how will the Taurus and the Leo be moving forward into the future in regards to this relationship? Please grant not activity to read these cards as they're intended to be read and say your messages as you intend them to be said. In regards to relationship between a Taurus and a Leo. Okay, so Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me what Taurus's stance, position, or contribution would be to this relationship? We have the Ace of Swords in the upright. Can you please show me what the Leo's stance would be? The Four of Cups in the upright. Can you please show me what the basis of this relationship would be? What would the basis be? The Foundation, the Nine of Swords in the upright. What would lie between them, be it for better or worse? We have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. <laughs> and then finally, moving forward, how would they move forward in this relationship? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so it is a little topsy-turvy. All right, so over here, you guys are the Ace of Swords. So let me see if I can get this. And also, I think there's a glare on these cards. No, maybe not. Okay. Sorry if it's in shadow, it is what it is. Um, so you guys are over here with the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, you guys really have a clear direction on how things should go in this relationship. You know, the direction, having clarity. Go this way. I kind of feel like with Ace of Swords, you guys want, you know, the, you see it and, and you want to run this way. And I'm not going to say it's your way or the highway, but you're just kind of being very clear cut about where you want this relationship to go or how you want it to be. And I do feel like you're communicating that because um, the Ace of Swords is about communication and you're communicating it very clearly to your Leo partner. Okay. Your Leo partner over here is the Four of Cups. So even though you're kind of telling them how it's going to be or how you want things to be, they aren't really that enthused about it. They're not enthused about uh, this kind of route that you kind of planned out for them, okay? They they aren't as enchanted with it as you are. They might even reject some of your ideas. They might kind of be a little apathetic towards them or just um, not find it very stimulating. So they're not really... Um, they're not really interested on getting on board in regards to, you know, this relationship or reconciliation or what have you, whatever your relationship is with your Leo love interest. Okay, the basis of the relationship here, the foundation, we have the Nine of Swords. So you guys have, a, you know, a lot of negativity, negative feelings. It's either you or the other person or both of you. Um, a lot of anxiety, despair. You guys are worrying a lot, stressing out a lot. Um, there might be a lot of, there might be, 
negative emotions going on in regards to this. Um, you or the other person might be getting depressed. So I, I kind of feel like the basis of this relationship is a little bit troublesome or a little bit worrisome. A lot of neg negative emotions going on in regards to one or both parties. But I feel like, you know, the, that's not a very good or a very good foundation. Now, what lies between you are the Ten of Pentacles. So actually, this is for better or worse. And it's actually for better. So you and your Leo partner are really good at um, money. <laughs> Finances, assets, building things together, building a home together, investments, anything that's practical, you guys get together and you're very on board about that and you make things happen and you make things happen for the long term. So, I mean, I feel like, you know, even though things are rocky, you guys really have that in common. You really do want to build assets. You want to make money. You want your finances um, to be doing very well. You guys are, you know, on the check the checkbooks. Um, so I, there might be a little bit more of you kind of figuring out how the finances are going to go and the Leo helping, but um, just because they, they, they like the finer things in life, the better things in life. But don't get me wrong, a Leo will work hard for those things. Even though they're known to be lazy, they will work for the things that they, that they want. Okay. Um, and then moving forward here, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse in regards to the future of this relationship or how you guys are going to move forward. It isn't going to be a very grounded relationship. Um, I think there's going to be, honest to God, I think money, money matters might be the crux of problems going forward in regards to this, because that Ace of Pentacles are reversed. And that brings connotations about greed, um, somebody being selfish, somebody being reckless with money. So I, I do think a major moving forward, a majority of your, your bones of contention are going to be primarily about money matters, how money is handled, what you guys are going to do with it, um, how it's going to be spent. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the clarifiers for this in the Vimeo bonus. Just make sure you click on the link, click on the link below. It'll take you where you need to go. Otherwise, guys, um, thank you for your purchase. Not, not your purchase. Thank you for viewing. Keep in mind all the things I always want you to keep in mind. If this resonated, consider a personal reading. I'm on Instant Kill if you need a quick answer to a quick question. Um, what else? Oh, check my playlist for 2018 sun moon readings too. Okay. So make sure you do all of that. Otherwise, adios guys. I will see you over in Vimeo. Bye. If I can find my little arrow. Adios.